Good morning, everybody. As you can tell, I'm working on, well, you probably can't tell what it is, actually. It's just a strip, right? It's actually a bookmark. Look, it has this cute little tassel that goes on it when you're done. It's a bookmark. I started it yesterday at the hospital thinking I knew what I was doing, you know, because normally you put, like, one goes on one and two goes on two and all that. But they gave you this little inventory sheet here, which would indicate something different. But, um, like, okay, bag number 11 goes on the fives. That makes sense. That's all the way around the edge. That makes sense. Bag number 10. Bag number 10 goes on the use. Okay, and that makes sense. Up here, the rhinestone ones don't make any sense. I'm just doing what I want to do. The numbers don't match up. I don't know. Bag number one. Bag number one. There's no nothing listed number one. See? There's nothing listed one there. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to just keep doing what I was doing. And I think this will be just fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Anyhow, I'm going to put these reds, which are number one, on number four. We go. I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. Okay, we're rolling with it. Okay, anyhow. Um, what do I have to talk about? Okay. First of all, let me say I did my stash giveaway video yesterday. Um, and it was the giveaway video. Um, I've had several people look at the giveaway video and try to sign up for the giveaway. It's not the sign up for the giveaway. The sign up for the giveaway was two weeks ago in a what's up Wednesday and then it was another week ago I gave you like another chance to sign up but it was all within what's up Wednesdays so that was not a sign up video sorry guys that was the actual giveaway video giveaways done um, yeah I showed the different canvases that I'm giving away and asked people to respond send me an email with your name your address and some of your favorites that you saw. I'm going to do my best to get people something that they really liked, okay? That's why I'm asking for that information. I have heard from, I think, six people already, so that's pretty good. Um, I said, please let me know by next Sunday at noon. Therefore, I can either redraw whatever I need to do, get things, you know, get things going on Sunday afternoon so that I can start getting packages prepared to mail. All right, so there's that. If you hopped on and you saw a giveaway and you wanted to, you know, enter that giveaway, once again, I'm sorry folks, that giveaway was already established before that video and that was just actually the drawing for the winners. Um, if you watched the video all the way to the end, you would have seen that I did draw the winners at the end. Thank you to the people who entered. Thank you to the people who watched. And sorry to the people who thought that that was an actual giveaway video and not a drawing for the video. So anyhow, there's that. I will let you know more later if everybody contacted me to claim their prize. If I have to draw more numbers, I will certainly let you all know, okay? Um, today I am home for just a couple of hours. I've been doing some filming. Uh, I, have, I have a bunch of stuff coming in. I have stuff like that's been traveling the country. I had something you guys actually stuck in Chicago for 15 days. I contacted my post office to see if there was anything they could do, if they could try to track it down. I went in, I, I talked to them twice. He asked me to check in again on Tuesday, which was yesterday, so I did. This is the ironic thing. I checked in with him on Tuesday. He said he would shoot an email or a call to somebody and see if he could you know, do some locating. 
I got home later that afternoon and that package after 15 days had moved. It moved to Detroit, just like that. Coincidence? I don't know, but it was in Detroit. It is now in my local post office this morning and is on its way here. I just, I don't know. Anyhow, I have two other things I think that are coming as well. And I just placed another small order to AliExpress. So I'll have those coming. So I'm excited to see what actually shows up in the mail today. Um, I think I know what's coming. I think I have my tracker. You know, I put tracking numbers in and then I forget what they're tracking. You know, do you ever do that? Like I have a whole bunch of tracking numbers in my tracker. And unless I've written it down somewhere, this tracking number goes to this, this goes to that. I forget what they are. Except for the one that was in Chicago. Because I've been watching that one. I know what that one is. So anyhow, I have stuff coming. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get to film again. But we'll get to it. You know, this work thing, this work thing I have to do just kind of, you know, cuts into my... Cuts into my fun time sometimes. And I can't do what I want to do because I have to go to work. Anyhow, there's that. So, um, besides that, those couple things, um, I'm working on the In Love Arts painting. I was going to work on that for this video. But when I sat down at my table to do that, the sunlight was shining in the window so brightly that I, you couldn't see anything and I don't have time to move it to a different spot. So I didn't. I thought, well, let's just work on my counter and I'll show you the bookmark because I want to try to get this finished. It shouldn't take too long. I really didn't get to work on it much at the hospital yesterday at all because too many people wanted to come in and talk and discuss things with my mom and yeah, and they were using my table, I, you know, those little hospital tray tables. I use those when I'm there, and they were, it was occupied. Anyhow, this would have taken me about an hour, probably, if I could have just worked on it. Anyhow, um, let me say one more thing about the dp -athon. Oh my goodness, how much fun was that? If you watched any of the dp -athon, checked out any new creators, any new channels, I did, you know, I subscribed to a couple that I didn't know. Um, it was so much fun. I love doing that. Um, I talked about lighthouses. If you didn't see it, you can still go watch it on replay. I talked about lighthouses in Michigan and stuff like that. It was pretty fun. Somebody did ask me, is there going to be a test? And I was like, no, no test. It might be a history lesson, but there will not be a test. <laughs> but it was so much fun. I love doing that. And it just makes me think, okay, I really need to just do a regular, regular live, like once a week, because, you know, it's a good way to connect. It's a good way to be able to interact and chit chat with subscribers you know, through videos, it's a little harder. Sure, you can comment, but it's a little harder to actually have like a conversation with each other. But a live, you can do that. So I'm just going to need to pick a time and just go live every week at that time and that day. The Saturday night worked good, except apparently I stepped on somebody's toes a little. So I'm going to maybe readjust my time a little bit. Um, I might still, you know, Hurt the toes a little bit, but we'll see if we can minimize it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So, um, maybe I'll do Saturday night. I still like Saturday night. I'm usually just hanging around at home after we've run errands and stuff, and it's just kind of a good chill-out time for me. So, I might do Saturday night. Um, I think the last time I did 8 o'clock. Maybe I'll go just a tad earlier. If I did 7 o'clock. I mean, we'll have had dinner, we'll have, you know, settled down for the night, maybe 7 o'clock. Let me know what you think. Uh, respond in the comments below what you think, okay? And maybe I'll start trying to do that on a regular basis. So, it really is a good way to connect and interact with you guys. So, and I liked doing it. You know, I've gone live a few times now, and 
it's really fun. It really is. We've had a good time, lots of laughs, and, you know, it's a great time. So there's that in the works as well. Um, it seemed like there was something else I wanted to tell you, real quick update kind of thing. Um, I know, my last update. Hold on, guys. This is a depressing one. I don't know what is going on with my flock, my birds. They keep disappearing. They keep disappearing. I did see a fox one day. I've never, ever seen a fox here, but I did see a fox go cruising across over by the pond one day. I think he's getting my birds. I have lost two chickens. I, last night my husband came in, he said he couldn't find two more chickens. If he can't find those two chickens, if they're actually gone, we only have two adult chickens left and the three grays that now just hang out in the, in the shop. They're like, they don't want to go anywhere and that's fine with me. I don't think I'm letting the chickens out anymore. I think I'm going to leave them in their pen. There's plenty of room in there for them. And maybe they can only get out for just a little bit at night when we're home and watching them. I don't know. I just, I can't lose anymore. The other one, the really sad, 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 depressing news is they got Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie is gone. I'm so mad about that, that Bonnie is gone. Oh my goodness. I love Bonnie. She just made my day, her quacking and her attitude. I'm so mad about that one. I mean, it is what it is. When you live in the country, I get it. But dang, my sister has like a hundred chickens. And she loses hers sometimes, but it's for weird things. Like they just die. Like hers die. They get sick or something and die. And mine just disappear. Mine just become a meal for somebody somewhere. It's so annoying, and I don't know what else to do. We have a live trap out there. I don't even know if my husband's put, like, some bait in it lately. But I've got some chicken. They seem to like chicken. I've got some chicken pieces in here. I might take some chicken out and throw it in that live trap. And I don't even know if a fox, if it is a fox, would go in there. I mean, we catch coons. We catch possums in the live trap. But I don't know if a fox would go in it or not. Even if there's some nice fresh chicken in there. I don't know. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Maybe I'll try it. But I just, I don't know how to combat this problem. Don't know what to do. Anybody have any suggestions out there, please let me know. Because I am tired of losing my birds. So, I don't know. So there's that. Um... I don't really have a whole lot else to say or a whole lot more to talk about. Wish me luck this afternoon, though, because this afternoon we do this thing where we get all of the kids together, kindergarten through third grade. We shuffle them all up, make these mixed groups. So there's K, 1, 2, and 3 kids. And then we do these activities as a group. They're called our families. <laughs> Yep. So I get to spend the afternoon with my group, my family, and, uh, yeah, do some stuff. I don't know what we're doing. We're doing stuff. Now that these numbers don't match up, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. These go around the edge, though. Let's do that. I know that one. <laughs> they go around the edge. I'm just making this bookmark, I guess, with the way I want it to be. I don't know. All right, these are pretty. These are gold, you know, gold balls. I don't know if I can pick them up with this, but if I can't, I'm going to show you a trick. Okay. No, they don't want to pick up with that. Let me show you a trick. Hang on. I know that a lot of people got one of these with Victoria's Moon, and they wondered you know, what you could do with it. They can't use this end because it's for nail art. And what do you do with this? Well, mine, you know, they got hot and melted. So mine's bent and weird. I've actually ordered some new tips. 
if they ever get here. I ordered my Amazon, but they're taking forever. Um, so I can replace this. But these wax tips, watch this. Love it. Look. Bam. Okay. Every time it will pick up special drills. I love this pen just for this. Look at how perfect this works. Whoops, unless you get two. See that? It's fantastic. So if you hesitate to do special drills or you, you know, are one of those people that says that you always, they get stuck or they, you know, whoa, those are shiny when they wiggle. <laughs> um, get, get one of these. You can pick these up on Amazon, super cheap. Um, and I think you can probably find them on Prime. It's just the tips. I don't know. Wherever I ordered the tips from, clearly wasn't Prime. They weren't in stock. They're probably coming from you know where. But look, look how easy this is. It's great. I love it. Okay. Because I got that one off a little bit. But it's perfect. Works great for special drills. And then let me show you this just because I can. I know where these guys go. There's only two of them, and they gave me three. It's got to be A. Does A and 8 match up? It does. Ooh, on the little chart. I could do this. Okay. I could do this by hand. I could just place it on there. But why? Look. Boom. Sticks. Sorry. Sticks right on there. And then you just put it right on your little symbol. See? It works perfectly. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so, if you like to do special drills, but you're, you know, having problems losing wax or not picking up things, pick yourself up one of these nail art pens. Those are crazy when you shake it. <laughs> oh, you'd have to see that up close to see what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, pick up a nail art pen. They work fantastic. Fantastic for these special drills. Even when you get to some of the smaller little pieces, well, I, if you start in the right spot, it helps because these are tight. Tight, tight, tight to each other. All right. Now we're on track. All right. They're kind of fat at the end, but they're normally not this fat. Mine's been flattened because, like I said, it melted. And I've, I keep trying to, like, get it more pointy here. It's just wax. If you hold it long enough, it warms up, right? But try to make it more pointy. It... Anyhow, they work good for this stuff. So, there's a little tip for the day. How's that? I love special drills. I mean, I like regular drills. I like diamond painting of all varieties, but I love special drills. I have a whole bunch of special drill stuff coming I can hardly wait to get and show you because there's some cool stuff. Anyhow, there you go. Okay, so I don't think I have a whole lot more to talk about, and I got to get going because I do have to go to work and face the chillins and deal with that whole, I don't know what we're doing. I know we're going to paint rocks. Yeah, we're going to paint rocks. That'll be fun. Try painting rocks with kindergartners. I don't know how that's going to work. Anyhow, I got to get going. Um, so thanks for watching the video and my channel and, uh, supporting all that good stuff that you guys do. And I will see you in the next video.